A prayer for when someone you love walks away from their faith. Written and read by Chris Ite. Catch for us the foxes, the little foxes that ruin the vineyards, our vineyards that are in bloom. Song of Songs, chapter 2, verse 15. I remember the very last session of the year-out discipleship course that I did with a group of wonderful men and women from a church network in the UK. Joe, the leader, not his real name, stood in front of us all and gave a sombre warning about the future, now that the year had ended. He said that statistically, one person in such a group was certain to lose their faith at some point. We looked at each other nervously, and I uttered a silent prayer, asking Jesus to keep me close to him. But I also had a sense of grievance, as I thought that one of these incredible brothers and sisters could walk away from him one day, and I really hoped, selfishly, that it would not be me. Then Joe referred to Song of Songs 2.15 and warned us to look out for the little foxes of the enemy and to catch them before they affected our faith. He meant those channels of sin and disbelief which could be the struggle of any man or woman. And if we didn't catch those foxes in time and deal with them, the result could be devastation in the vineyards of our faith. It was a gripping and very helpful allegory. Be on your guard, Joey pleaded, as it says in 1 Peter 5.8. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. He was concerned that, having spent a year building our faith in discipleship in the Lord, we were now prime targets for the enemy. Unfortunately, as the years went by and we all lived our separate lives, I did hear of someone on that course who turned their back on truth and I became aware of another whose theology became tangled. I don't know entirely what happened to the others, but they were genuine, lovely people and I do hope they are doing well with Jesus. I had my own ups and downs and there was a brief period when I really slipped, but God's love held me when I turned back to him. We forget too easily that we are in spiritual battles and when we go over the top of the trenches or run across the battlefield of darkness bringing the love of Jesus there can be an opposite reaction missiles of doubt and mayhem causing us to duck down until the shelling is over then we can get up and move onward and the bombing stops if we keep our eyes on Jesus or there's the danger of regressing if we allow the foxes of the devil to wear us down It hurts when a brother or sister walks away from their faith, doesn't it? We think we're all on the same page, but then the enemy takes them out. What can you do when someone you love walks away from their faith? Simply be there for them, if possible, and pray. That's reactive, of course, if someone decidedly turns away. But we can also be proactive to make sure it doesn't happen in the first place. And that's why this powerful illustration in the Song of Songs works so well. If we're being open, honest and integral with each other, we stand a better chance of catching the little foxes before they cause chaos in our vineyards. In Judges 15, Samson grabs 300 foxes and fastens burning torches to their tails. He lets them loose in the fields of the Philistines and it causes absolute carnage. He burned up the shocks and standing grain together with the vineyards and olive graves. Imagine that carnage being the result of Christian lives led separately and out of fellowship with each other. A wood fire only works if the pieces of wood connect with each other. A single piece of wood soon burns out. There's a reason why Jesus is building a wider church of individuals rather than individuals who think they are a church in themselves. We need each other to encourage, rebuke kindly and fight for one another. We also need to look out for each other's foxes, those little evil things which destroy spiritually, not literally, and help to catch them before it's too late. Let us pray. Father God, please help me to catch the little foxes of sin and doubt before they ruin my vineyard. Help me to support others too in these spiritual battles. 
Thank you that I don't need to live in fear though, because your grace is sufficient for me. Your love holds me firm and steady is your word, for you protect me and my brothers and sisters. If this is a battle of light against darkness, I am on the winning side of the wider war. Your cross did it all, and you declared it is finished. I walk by faith, not by sight. God is love, and I love you. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.